On today's episode, I am going to talk about one of my favorite companies. And unfortunately, that company has been private. Luckily, they just released that they are going to go IPO. They're going to go public in the next. uh, There's no actual date, Um, but this is one company that I once it goes public is easily going to be one of my top 10 holdings. I can say it's probably going to be one of my top five holdings. I may even say will probably be one of my top three holdings. And that company right now is Unity. So on today's episode, what I'm going to do is I took a look at the whole S1 filing. Um, it was about 84 pages. So so I looked through all the important information. So the episode is going to be broken down the following. First, I'm just going to try to explain what Unity does. Um, we're going to take a look at some of the products, some of the servers they do, um, some of the services they do, some of the customers they hit. And there's some pretty big customers. Then after that, I just want to go and take a look at some of their financial information, see how much this company is growing, and then take a look at their balance sheet. And finally, like always, I'm going to end the video with my thoughts. Like always, if you are new to my channel, if you are a long term investor, if you want to learn about growth stocks, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And to all my returning viewers, thank you so much for the support. It truly means a lot. Like always, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And remember, if you guys ever want to get in contact with me, YouTube comments is the best place. You can find me on my Discord channel. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me live streaming on Sundays at Twitch. Um, and but remember all this information is free i am by no means a professional everything i say here is just my opinion so make sure to talk to a financial advisor before making any decisions i just want to give a super thanks to all the members all the youtube members who are supporting the channel if you believe i'm providing some form of value and want to support the channel make sure to hit that join button down there and recently i did do a video on on some ipos coming out i talked about weeble which allows retail traders to enter ipos um, at the standard price before everything going public so if you want guys want to join weeble i have a link we both can get free stocks so make sure to click that link and hopefully we can try to get some ipos before they go public all right so let's start off what do they do who is unity and why am i so excited about them well unity is the leading platform for creating and operating interactive real-time 3d content so what does that mean jose uh if most of the video games you play right now um if you guys play video games most of the video games that you see on your mobile devices on your pcs have been made through unity so unity is the platform that allows creators to make games and we're going to take a look later on that creators come in multiple different in different sectors um right now they have about 1.5 million monthly active creators 50 percent of the mobile games pc games and console games combined are made with unity they have about 15,000 new projects made per day and they're being worked on by in, in 190 different countries I'm super bullish in the gaming world. So I always say it's important. It's important. Like I I talk about it all the time. The gold rush, right? Uh, Many people say that not every miner that was in the gold rush made money. But the companies that were selling the tools to those miners were the ones that made money. And that's how I see this, right? I'm I'm not saying that every game publisher, everybody that makes a game right now even the gaming industry is booming but not every game being out there is gonna make money but the people that help create those tools for those to make those games those are the ones that are gonna make the most money and that's where i see unity being being one of those major tools out right now to make video games all right so now let's talk about the products they offer and they offer two types of solutions the first type of solutions is creative solutions creative solutions is solutions for those content creators so let's say if i was a video game uh, a video game designer and i wanted to make a video game i would use their creative solutions to either pay some form of subscription fee to use their platform and to develop my games they also within that outside of that subscription to use their platforms they also have other stuff like art engine forma granite reflect and mars now they have a second solution 
they have operate solutions. So now let's say I have created my game already and I want to spread the word out. I want to get it into different platforms. I want to test my game out by running simulations. Maybe I'm running a game that has that needs a lot of servers because I, I, I'm having a lot of people playing at once. Then I would use operate solutions. So here I, I have my game completed. I can advertise it. I can um, I can tune it, I can run simulations on it to make sure the game is running properly. And the great thing about it is, let's say I was a content creator, I started using Unity, and then after I created my game, I can move on to the op uh, operate solutions. The second great thing is operate solutions are not only are not only promised to those that created the content through Unity. If you created your content from somewhere else, you can still come to Unity and be like, hey, I have a finished game. I don't need your gaming creation platform, but I do need you to help me out, to help me right now into expanding my game, into testing out my game, into just see building some servers, maybe advertisements. So even if I didn't create the game through Unity, I can still come to them to, to work and be a paying customer for them. Also, they do mention that right now they believe they have a total market opportunity of approximately $29 billion. And that's both in gaming and other industries. And you might be like, Jose, what other industries might, might Unity be in? You already mentioned the gaming platform. I can't see anything else. So let's, let's take a look at who uses them. So the great thing about Unity is you don't only use them to create like 2D or 3D games. You can also use them to do AR stuff. You can use them to do VR stuff. And we all know AR and VR stuff, augmented reality and virtual reality can go so much outside of games. Um, so obviously the main thing is games. And because they are such a strong, uh, a, such a strong platform, a lot of architectures, engineering and constructions use them to develop the blueprints of what they're making. If, if they want to show off some some crazy city, right, let's say it was a construction firm and they want to show this amazing, amazing tower that they want to build. And here we can see, right, imagine this is the amazing tower they're trying to build, but they're also going to use Unity to provide the outside outside city. So you can see a real life example of how this tower can look not only games right media and entertainment you can also use it to build some make maybe make some form of short clip films maybe you can make uh, cartoons animation comics so there are so many other opportunities outside of games and finally automotive transportations and manufacturing are using them so how can manufacturing use unity again let's say you are a, a manufacturing company and you want to see let's say you're developing amount of cars uh, and you have all these robotic arms working in your facility. If you want to showcase that or, or want to do a layout of how those facilities can look like, you would use you would use Unity to make those simulations of how the arms will be moving, how your how your production line would be moving. So yeah, so we can see there is so many opportunities for Unity out there in different markets. And now let's sh let me show you some of the customers that are using them. Let's start off with the video game. Remember how I mentioned in the video game, we have the content creation. Games like Pokemon Go, Arena of Valor, Honor of Kings, Iron Man VR. These are games that have been created by Unity. And these are in all different platforms, right? Some of these are multiplayer online games that require super, um, that's published by Tencent and requires strong servers. Then we have, for example, po Pokemon Go, which is an augmented reality mobile game. Then we have uh, Iron Man VR, which is a shooter VR game. So we can see even within the games, they are, they are spread within different markets and different platforms. We also see strong partnerships with using their operate solutions remember their operate solutions is even if you don't create the game through unity you can use them to help help you out promote the game do some form of simulations run the servers and the big publishers that are using unity right now are ea games they use them for apex legends battlefield fifa madden nfl for need for speed and for the sims they also have partnerships with Tencent. Um, we know Tencent is one of my favorite companies out right now. Ubisoft Mobile Games. They also have stuff with Private Divisions, who is being who is owned by Take Two Interactive, which is uh, another big 
gaming platform. And those are only the ones in the video game. I also grabbed some of the customers outside the video games. In the in the architecture, engineering, and constructions, we have companies like Samsung's using them. In the automobile, transportation, and manufacturing, we have BMW, Honda, Volvo cars using Unity. And then in the film animations, honestly, I don't I, I think I might know Keyframe Studios. Um, but but not 100% sure, but I still wanted to add them there so you guys can see the different customers that are using them. All right, so now let's take a look at Unity's number. This is a true growth stock. And if you guys know me, this is some, it's, you know, it's in a market I'm excited about and it's a growth stock. You, you know, this is definitely going to be either one of my top five, maybe even one of my top three holdings. And we can see revenue for 2019 was $541 million. For 2018, it was 380 million. That was a year over year growth of 42%. And right now we're only halfway through the year. So when we compare 2019 uh, of 2000 and um, revenue of 2019 for the first six months was 252 million. Now for 2020, the first six uh, the first six months was 351 million. That's an increase of 42% compared to same time last year. Another thing we can see here is, unfortunately, right now, Unity is not profitable. They are losing money. Right now, they spend a lot of money on research and development, and this is so they can have that technological advancement. The second one they spend a lot on is sales and marketing. Just between those two main things, this company pretty much ends up uh, ends up already on a loss but that's okay right now they are using that money to acquire more customers to bring more people into their platform and just like we know every SaaS company that's how it starts off actually any company in general that's how they start off they start off first bringing your bringing you in bringing the customers in and then after that um those costs start to go down or the revenue just starts to increase so so dramatically but we know when we're looking at a company that's not making money right now, when we're looking at the balance sheet, I'm gonna be a lot tougher on them than if it wasn't a company that was not that that was making money already. Next, another thing I wanted to show you guys are customers that are greater than a hundred thousand dollars of revenue, and we can see last the last year there was about five hundred and fifteen at the first six months of twenty nineteen. Now they have about seven hundred and sixteen customers that make more of a hundred thousand dollars in revenue, and, and you can see the growth is not only coming from small from small content creators there's a huge growth of big content creators also entering the platform and again i and now i want to show earlier in this episode i talked about the solutions that that unity has and we can see here creative solutions makes up 101,000 of that 351 so close to a little bit less than one third um is made up of create solutions operate solutions which is um we mentioned like them doing advertisement, doing simulation, that makes up 216. And that's a big portion. That's close to two thirds of the total revenue. And then we have strategic partnerships and others, and that makes 32 million, so less than 10%. So we can see the two big boys that make this company um, revenue right now is the creative solutions and the operate solutions. And those are up big compared to same time last year. We're seeing huge growth, especially in that operate solution. And that to me is pretty impressive. Next, I also wanted to show you guys the markets that Unity hits. And to be honest, I was a little bit shocked by here. I thought United States was gonna be the one that makes the most revenue for Unity, but that's not the case. The one that does the most is EMEA, and that's Europe, Middle East, and Africa. And that makes up $132 million out of that 351. And we can see last same time last year that was 87 million dollars that's the one that has jumped the most the most the second is united states and united states comes in at 85 million then we have apac that makes up 65 million but again the the one i really wanted to show was that europe middle east and africa makes 132 the asia pacific region is also up um by a nice amount and that's pretty good right because you we both know we all know i'm a huge fan of c so seeing that increase there means that more gamers are coming into that area and more gamers that means that's going to be a greater time for c right yep c ha get it c 
All right, now let's take a look at this company's balance sheet. So this company right now has about $453 million in cash. Their total debt equals about $124 million. So this company has enough cash right now to pay off its total debt. That to me, that that's it has almost a f four times more cash, maybe three times. It has a little bit more than three times more cash than it has total debt. So that's A-OK -okay with me. But next, I wanted to see their free cash flow. I wanted to see the amount of money pouring out of this company. And right now, on average, it seems this company this company burns about ninety million dollars a year. Burning ninety million dollars a year means that this company right now has about, in theory, right? I'm not saying this is true, but without making any money, in theory, this company has a five-year lifespan. So if it can become profitable within five years, it's uh, it's definitely a good time. It's definitely okay, and I do believe. With the way things are going this this could end up happening and again right just even if they don't become profitable it's not the end of the world they can just continue to take out more debt right now debt is cheap um so obviously that's not how i want to look at things uh right now five years i think is plenty of time for them to become profitable so that's it that's all i have for this video guys and i hope you enjoy it unity is definitely one of my favorites as you can tell um we saw the great things we have a strong growth revenue um, we have a company in the market I, I foresee that is going to continue to good. They have on tap, they have markets that they haven't tapped into fully yet, like the engineering, like the automobile, and the other entertainment. And once once they do tap that market strong, um, I see. I think we're going to see more revenue growth. Um, unfortunately, the company is not profitable right now. But looking at the amount of cash and the amount of free cash flow burn that they're doing, it, it tells me that they do have at least four to five years before I should really worry. Um, so that that's definitely a thing. Like I said, after looking at this, Unity will still be one of my top five holdings for sure. Depending on the valuation it comes out in, I will probably even do top three. Right, let's say, uh, what's total revenue? Let, let me take a quick look at what valuation. I haven't really thought about it. I'm just going to go with my head right now. So let's say for 2020, this company is probably going to make about $700 million. So about $700 million of revenue, um, assuming for this year, that would mean that I would pay, I would pay easily 10 to 15, maybe, maybe even 20 times valuation at the moment for the company uh, obviously the cheaper the better so any for me uh, 20 would be a 14 billion dollar valuation but to me I, I anything below a 10 i think would be amazing for me to enter so anything below a 10 billion dollar valuation for me i think would be perfect i don't know if we're gonna get that i really do hope we get something that low um but if we don't i'm still gonna buy because i do believe this company is gonna grow and gonna continue to grow so take care guys have a good night and like i said if you guys want to get into the ipo webull does have offerings it doesn't mean you will get into it but they do offer it to the retail so make sure to click that link below um so we can both get a free stock so take care, guys. Have a good night and see you next time.